This person does not fit into the categories that are socially acceptable by any standards. This person is not normal, they are not sane, they may be armed and dangerous. Hey what's up YouTube world, my name is Anthony and I'm doing sort of an emotional video today which you probably won't think is emotional because I have zero emotions. Basically this video is all about when I found out that I was asexual. And asexual does not mean what you learned in your biology class which means that a single celled organism can reproduce by itself. So what you mean to tell me is that you've never ever wanted to be in a relationship with anyone before and you've never found anyone attractive? I don't understand because you have to fit in within these three things. I don't know, Doc. I guess it's just always sort of been this way. We need to put you on medicine is what we need to do. We need to put you on medicine so we can make you normal and then we can figure out what's wrong with you. I just, I don't know what to put. I've never heard of the term asexual before. No, I'm fully aware that he doesn't fit into any of the categories described. I don't know what's wrong with him. There has to be something wrong with him, right? We need to abort the mission right now, everybody. We have a code red. This person does not fit into the categories that are socially acceptable by any standards. This person is not normal. They are not sane. They may be armed and dangerous. Everyone proceed with caution. Asexual is a term coined by someone that means that you aren't attracted to anyone sexually, but some people can be attracted to other people romantically. However, I am neither romantically attracted to people or sexually attracted to people. People, so I am 100% asexual and that is how it's always been my entire life and I wanted to share this video because I feel like it can actually help someone if they see it. I have always been this way since I was little. Everyone would always talk about how they always wanted to be in a relationship and all my friends, either girls or boys, would always pretend that they were getting married or would always pretend that they were in a relationship and I honestly just never had any interest in it at all and everyone always thought I was so weird. They were like, well why don't you flirt with anyone? why don't you date anyone and this was in like you know third grade because those little like schoolyard crushes were the thing to be in and if you weren't in a schoolyard crush like you weren't anyone in sixth grade when the boy girl party started I was just so confused as to what the big deal was about boy girl parties I was like well I don't understand because boys and girls can be friends with each other it doesn't make any sense to me that boys and girls can't hang out or have sleepovers because it didn't really click in my head that people were actually starting to form sexual feelings towards other people based on how someone looks. Also during this year we had this program called Operation Keepsake hashtag Catholic School Problems and Operation Keepsake was a program that would come in and talk about sex and it would talk about sex and relationships and everything that would kind of go into relationship from holding hands to kissing to making out and what level you would want to stop at and then it would talk more about sex and pregnancies and how it relates to the Catholic faith. This class sort of showed a little bit of light to me into this world of what people were feeling who were not asexual and at that time I did not know what the term was I just thought that something was wrong with me I honestly was like what is wrong with me why don't I understand what other people feel people would always just say just wait it takes time to even know anything about yourself or it just takes time when you get older you just haven't met the right one yet so when I'm doing Operation Keepsake there is this day that they had someone come in and on the chalkboard it was to list how far you would go with someone else. It started on the bottom of the list that said holding hands and at the top of the list it said making out. We had to go around the room and everyone had to be unafraid to say what they were thinking and just be honest with themselves. And it finally gets to me. The instructor for Operation Keepsake points to holding hands and she's like is this how far you would go or would you do something else? And I said no. So she moves the pointer up to hugging and she's pointing to hugging and she's like would you stop at hugging? And I said no. So she moves it up more and I was like you're going in the wrong direction because I didn't even feel comfortable with holding hands. So she finally pointed the pointer back down to holding hands and she was like so you would stop at holding hands and I said no. I was like lower and she was like there's nothing below holding hands and I said exactly and she was like oh well, you're still young like you'll realize that when you get to high school you'll want to be kissing and hugging and smooching and everything else. So it's important that you learn about it now even though you're not interested in it. So finally eighth grade comes around, you know, the 
crushes are starting to get a little bit more in depth. People are finally kissing, going to those boys and girl parties, and I would be invited to like a couple, but not really because no one actually liked me at all in middle school. Yeah, I was the outcast and the loser and the one who everyone always picked on because I was asexual and everyone thought I was just so weird because I did not find anyone sexually attractive. Finally in high school we have all these guest speakers that are coming in and talking about sex. And then we have our religion classes talking about sex. And everyone is always talking about sex. Sex, sex, sex. Sex is everywhere. For someone who's asexual you just feel so claustrophobic and so confused because you don't understand why it's such a big deal or why people are making such a big deal out of it. You're like, okay, people have sex, but I don't really get it. Like, I'm not into that. I was sitting in class one day and we were talking about love and it got around to me and they were like, just be honest. Talk about what you feel about love. And I said, I don't really understand love. I don't get love. I mean, I love my parents and I love my family members and I feel an emotional attachment to things and people, but not in the way that I would ever want to be in a relationship relationship with someone. So I guess I just don't believe in love. I don't believe in romantic love. I don't believe in romance at all. And of course my religion teacher thought that I was like mentally disturbed and crazy. So she actually sent me to the guidance counselor with the paper that I wrote on my honest thoughts about love and relationships. And the guidance counselor sat me down with my parents and was like, you know, we're really concerned about Anthony because he just doesn't seem very interested in what the other kids are interested in. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not interested in being a horny teenager. I guess that makes me the one that's wrong or in the wrong. And it continued through high school. When I started to hang out with friends, it was weird because my friends would start to date a lot and they actually would ostracize me in high school because I wasn't dating anyone. So I was hanging out with a big group of people in my junior year of high school and they were all dating each other and they would always go out to the movies and dinner and stuff and they would never invite me. So I was always like, hey guys, like, why can't I be invited? Are you gonna invite me out? And they were like, no, Anthony, because you're not dating a girl. You don't have a girlfriend, so we can't invite you out because you'll be left out since we're all in relationships. So I got left out even though I wasn't in a relationship, but I was still left out. And you know, that does kind of mess with you a little bit psychologically where you're like, there must be something wrong with me. And I started to feel really depressed in high school because, you know, senior year came around and senior year is better because everyone's sort of just like breaking up with people because they know they're going to college. And that was a better year for me. But junior year, everyone's dating and I was just left out of literally everything. I remember I would go to a few parties and like my friends would just be like making out right next to me. And I'd just be sitting there by myself watching the movie, hanging out with like their dog or cat. I definitely felt the pressure to be in a relationship. So then I finally approached someone who I asked her to be my girlfriend and I was boyfriend and girlfriend with her for an entire 23 hours because it was real serious. There's just all this pressure from people that were in my like friends group to approach this girl and to have her like hold hands with her and they're like oh Anthony why aren't you like putting your arm around her? Why aren't you kissing her? Why aren't you holding her? And I'm like I definitely am not boyfriend material because I don't even know what it takes to be a boyfriend. I'm not interested in anything romantic. I I couldn't give them what they would typically receive in a relationship. Being asexual is honestly how you are born. You are just not sexually attracted to anyone. It's no different than someone being born straight or being born bisexual or being born gay or being born transgendered. That is how you are born. You are born with feeling attracted to a certain type of person or feeling like you are a certain gender of person. That is the same thing as being asexual. So research it a little bit more that I realized that about 1% of the world's population is actually asexual and I was like great I love to be on the outcast side and I wanted to make this video to share my story because I feel like there's other people out there who may be going through the same thing possibly and who feel alone who just don't understand why they may or may not be attracted to someone I was really putting this video off for a long time because I was afraid of what people were gonna say to me about it but I think that I felt comfortable enough with putting this video out there because I know that it's not about myself, it's about other people who may be going through this, and I have to put my own insecurities aside if it's going to help someone else. So leave a comment below. Are you asexual? Are you straight? Are you gay? Are you bisexual? Are you transgendered? What are some of the obstacles that you've overcome in your life, and how did you figure it out for yourself? Being weird is okay, because there is no such thing as normal. Every single person is different. But thanks again for watching this video, and have a great rest of your day. Bye.